likes of Bianca Basilio and other outstanding athletes come from that gym. Let's get into this here. Wow, really, really aggressive open here. I notice a lot of that. A lot of athletes are favoring this inside shin kick to create space and to create movement. And it's been a very interesting thing to see in development. Gustavo Batista was doing that yesterday. Uh, a lot of athletes are doing it today. You just saw Jonathan Gracie doing it as well. Great chain of techniques there from, from Jonathan Gracie, using that, that little foot sweep attack into Rapsi Onagi style attack. Shooting in the single. We're seeing a lot of different looks from Jonathan Gracie, mixing in the wrestling with some of the judo. Liga lower though, a deathly maneuvering through it all, and he opts to pull guard here. Looking perhaps for that deep half, as you mentioned, but John is crazy, has a nice cross face and stops that, and in a position to pass. Oh my goodness, getting stuffed by the head control. John is crazy, making the most of that action now. Looking to chase the back, perhaps, as Leah Lord turns away. He's already given up the three. It's risky to turn away at this point. Such a difficult position to find yourself in. I guess the only thing that, the only saving grace is he's near the edge of the mat. If he can make a scramble happen in which the referee couldn't reset them, he can end back up in the middle. But it is very tough to move anywhere when you have a person with the strength and the technicality of Jonas' Gracie on your back holding you in the middle. Jonas has so much time to work with, eight and a half minutes left. You better believe he's going to take his time here and make the most of the situation. Oh, absolutely. Possibly looking at it. He's keeping that left knee really close as well to the, basically where the hook would go in when he takes the back. So staying very patient, taking deep breaths. You see on the other side of the mat, it's gonna be their potential opponents. Ronaldo versus Tynan Dalbra. This is the quarterfinal. Same thing over there. And you saw this all started. Leo Lara tried to pull deep half from the bottom and was met with the head control. Yeah, John just may have done his homework or known very well that may have been coming. But he shut it down quickly, ended up in a very favorable position. Now he's got all the mass space in the world. Good job in game two. Oh, absolutely. These two have met before in the finals of Brown Belt Worlds, where uh, I believe Jonah Tess Gracie was actually disqualified and Leo Lara went on to win. But these two have met before, and as you said, both part of the Atos family. Both side referees giving the advantage to Jonathan's Gracie. Jonathan's really has no reason to rush at this point. So close to moving directly into Mount or taking the back, depending on some reactions here. Leo Lara's going to have to really work to get back to a favorable position. You see Jonas is moving his right knee. He's, he was aiming to move his right knee over the other side of Leo Lara. That was, I, I imagine, intentional to prevent any sort of deep half. You see Leo's keeping his legs really tight. He's trying to prevent the other hook from coming in, so eventually he can hopefully dig his left hand underneath and force the deep half situation. Jonas is staying privy to that. Search for his full name. John is looking to attack the back now. Another advantage earned. Oh, beautiful work by Jonathan. Even that he saw that the possibility of deep half guard was there and instead opted to throw a butterfly hook underneath the left hamstring of Leo Lada. And that is an interesting tool that Lada has off this back attack, is being able to dig for deep half is a, is a great way to prevent passes from happening. If you have a good deep half guard and you're able to get it from these defensive positions, you can put yourself right back in the fight. And someone with a deep half guard of Leo Lada, it's, it's something that Jonatas has to watch out for as he navigates these dominant positions. Wow, and Leo Lara 
survives a storm, but Jontas takes just that brief opening and gets right back to where he wants to be. Heavy pressure. And right back into head control. That was almost a reset for the Aurora, but Jontas shut that down immediately. And now he's in a great position to pass once more. Jontas has been so tight this whole match. There's been no space for the Lord to operate. Really phenomenal job here. Now Leo, Leo getting a little bit more space. He likes to throw this left hand hook underneath and possibly get a sweep. Jonas is almost getting his foot out though. Uh, really great work using his own legs to recapture some space. And Jonathan shot that underhook on the, on the right, on his right arm to defend his sweep from Leolora. But Leolora slowly, ever so surely, trying to get back to a guard, an offensive position. Tyne and Dolper on the other mat find success. He'll move on to the semifinal. These two, Leo Lada and Jonatas Gracie, looking for their slot in as well. Leo Lada doing a good job staying in the match, though. Jonatas has done a great job remaining tight the entire time, keeping his head underneath the chin of Leo Lada. And as I say that, going for another pass and almost getting his foot through. There's a nice bite there from Leolora on bottom, but Jonathan has such a great positional control right now. It really is just a matter of time, especially considering there's 300, or sorry, three minutes and 20 seconds left. 300 minutes would be a terrible situation. <laughs> That'd be a very long fight. <laughs> and I imagine they would both be very tired. Look at the torque, though, on Jonathan's knees that he's putting himself through as he looks to get this pass. Mm -hmm. And he secures it. Laura doing his best to turn away. He may avoid the points for now. Let's see if Jontas opts to try and break him down or chase the back. Advantage warded. Jontas looks for the back now. And it's a very measured approach, too. I, I love that Jonatas is taking his time. He's not, I don't think he's let go of his seatbelt. Anytime he's been able to see the back patch of Leo Lada, he's had a seatbelt. It's very smart. And it puts Leo in this awkward situation where he's consistently fighting for deep half guard, fighting for deep half guard, but there's always a head control, or there's always, always some sort of uh, control around his around his upper body that's preventing him from being able to turn comfortably towards it. Yeah, it's been an extremely defensive match for Leo Lora as he's just been uh, drowning under the pressure of Jontas Gracie, really. It's been the same story since minute eight. Now Leo getting a little bit of a better look for the deep half here. Oh, possibly getting up. Just like that. A very strong attack from Leo Lara. Takes the fight to the ground. That's going to be two. And he's in a good position to start looking for a pass here. Oh my goodness. What a turn of events with one minute and 20 seconds to go. You can see a little bit of fatigue on the face of Leo Lara, but he seems driven to make this happen. A good leg drag attempt could happen right now. Wow, and how the tide has turned. Oh my goodness! This match. Is this going to be a pass? The grit of Lee Laura to get through that onslaught of Jonathan's Gracie and never give up hope. This left hand of Jonathan's Gracie is preventing this guard pass. And he's able to spin underneath with 40 seconds left, oh, but Leo Lara staying determined. 
He needs to sprawl that left hip back and try to get his leg away from Jonatas. If Jonatas is able to keep Leolada's left leg close, then it's going to keep him. Do you see how Leolada is trying to sprawl that leg back? 20 here seconds Here we go. Now. This is the fight right here. Oh, Leolor may, may be accepting the situation now at this point. He looks a little bit tired. Only seven seconds left. That's going to be the match. Too little, too late, but what a great effort from Leo Lada here. As Jonathan Gracie's going to move on, but man. Certainly made things interesting in the last minute there. How crazy was that? Got the takedown and nearly passing the guard with like 30 seconds left. Jonathan Gracie moving on to the semifinal.